Hey everyone, Pokemon Free 16 here, and today I'm bringing you guys a Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay on uh, a game of domination on the map Jungle. But I'm not going to talk too much about the gameplay. I'm, I am using the Famas Dual Mag, but uh, as I said, I'm not going to talk about too much of the gameplay. I'm just, I just want to talk about stuff I feel like talking about. Uh, I've recently started a Bioshock playthrough and hopefully you're enjoying it because I'm having a lot of fun recording. It's probably... Recording things live is probably the stuff I enjoy most recording. I mean, I enjoy Jurassic Park a lot recording because it was live. I like recording Pokemon Blue but I don't know how much Pokemon Blue I'm actually going to be doing because Pokemon Black and White is just around the corner so I don't know if I'm just going to lay Pokemon Blue on ice for for now be and then continue it after I completed Bioshock it's not going to be too long of a series probably going to be around 30 40 episodes I don't know it's decently long but whatever the stuff I really wanted to talk about today is movies it's something I've had in my mind for quite a while movies that I enjoy and uh, for reasons why movies I watched in my childhood movies that I watch now as an adult and uh, stuff like that. I'll start with my childhood. The first ever movie I watched as a kid. Remember, I live in Sweden. I grew up in Sweden. So many of these movies may you not heard about or uh, many of these movies are dubbed cartoon cartoon uh, movies dubbed. Like the first movie I ever watched as a as a kid was uh, the Jungle Book, or as it's called in Sweden, Jungle Book, and and then uh, I just I just love that movie. I mean, it had two really memorable songs. Uh, I wanna be like you and the uh, Fierce Necessity, also known in Sweden as uh, I believe also do and uh, I don't know what the Fierce Necessity. I think it's like. I don't know, but <laughs> actually, in uh, Sweden, every Christmas we have something called Kalanka's uh, Jul Afton, which uh, is clips from uh, old movies like The Jungle Book, uh, whatever more, Cinderella, and stuff like that. And Beer Necessities is one of those, and I, oh, I can't tell you how much I enjoy watching that movie and listening to that song. I mean, it just brings back so much memory, so much nostalgia. That I can't even describe it. But uh, another movie that I saw at a very young age and really enjoy now as an adult is Aladdin. And uh, as, and this is also a dubbed one. But I think even Disney has am admitted that Sweden has some of the best dubbing of their movies ever. It's a really great movie. Genie, the guy who plays the genie, I think he tops Robin Williams. I think it's even better than Robin Williams. Yeah. I just... The songs are great. I just love the movie. Another movie that I saw at a very young age that wasn't a, a cartoon was Jurassic Park. You know, I talked about this. I watched it in 1997, four years of after it was released. And I saw it on tape and uh, it, bl it blew my mind even back then. I mean, my whole school was into dinosaurs uh, back then and it was amazing. And uh, actually a funny thing is, we taped it, it was on TV, we taped it. And actually one of the commercials that was, on this, on, that was going on there was uh, the ad for The Last Word. So I thought that, that was pretty funny. I watched that movie a ton as a kid. I'm, I'm, I was crazy. I've been watched The Lost World. I, the only movie I, the only one of them I was actually allowed to see at the theater was Jurassic Park 3. But I didn't think it topped Jurassic Park. I mean, honestly, Jurassic Park was the superior film of all of in the trilogy. Trilogy. I don't think anyone can deny that one. But I enjoyed um, the other two movies. Uh, decently well. I watched Godzilla but I think I enjoyed it but I think I enjoyed it because it like resembled 
Jurassic Park so much. I was into dinosaurs, I was into monsters. I thought they were a lot of fun to watch. I enjoyed it. And uh, stuff like that. Speaking of dinosaurs, I also watched The Land Before Time uh, back in the day. I th it was like at the time Jersey Park was out or a few years, but I enjoyed it a lot. And its sequels, but I could already, I think I could already tell back then that the sequels weren't as good as the original because the sequels were, yeah, they were like musicals. And uh, I think I stopped watching at the sixth sequel because I was growing up and uh, I thought they just became stupider and stupider and stupider. I don't know how many sequels there are right now. But uh, whatever. Oh, look at that. A quad napalm. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, like, a co like a movie that I saw just recently was The Secret of Nim. It is... A really good animated movie. I mean, it's just as for kids as for adults. It's actually pretty dark. It was made by Don Don Bluth, the same guy that did uh, The Land Before Time. So, it those movies are were actually pretty dark. I think it's one of the darkest films that you can that you can show to kids or that you can watch as a kid. Or I don't know, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't grow up in um, in America, so I don't know all of these uh, maybe American movies. I didn't watch The Wizard of Oz. I haven't watched that. I don't know if I'm planning to do that. Mm, I don't know, but movies I see now as an adult that I really enjoy. Die Hard is a fantastic movie. I really like Face Off. Uh, Terminator One and Two are really good movies. Uh, Recent movies that I actually enjoyed was Megamind and the uh, How to Train Your G Dragon. Two really good uh, animated movies from D DreamWorks. Uh, they've actually done pretty good uh, animated movies in my opinion recently. They did Shrek and Shrek 2, which those two was were, were the best of the four Shrek movies. And uh, we're actually the game is actually coming to an end here, so. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below on movies that you saw as a kid or movies that you enjoyed, some of your favorite movies. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a rating that you think this video deserves. And again, please leave a comment and I'll see you guys the next time. Peace out.